Hi, my name is Peter Mann with the RONC, and today we're going to talk about air purifiers and ozone. So let's start first with ozone and what it is. And so let's jump to the US EPA. And so if we look at the website, um, they actually have a page that talks about ozone generators that are sold as air cleaners. And they go into the health effects um, of, of having ozone with an air purifier. And so a couple things that I wanted to point out was um, this sentence here where they say, when inhaled, ozone can damage the lungs. Relatively low amounts can cause chest pain, coughing, shortness of breath, and throat irritation. Ozone may also worsen chronic respiratory diseases such as asthma. And you know, that's when I started Aransi, um, let me just jump in here. <laughs> when I started Aransi, it was because my son struggled with asthma. And so I've always been, you know, really dialed into, um, you know, cleaning the air without introducing a pollutant into the air. And in a sense, that's what, that's what ozone is. And that's what the EPA is saying here. Um, and sometimes in marketing with air purifiers, we'll talk about good ozone and bad ozone. And good ozone is ozone in the um, upper atmosphere, which helps to protect dangerous UV rays from the sun, but you know, in a home where you're breathing it in, that's really bad ozone, and that's, <laughs> that's really not good for you. Um, and they had one other sentence, let me just scroll down and find it here, uh, it, it really is just a conclusion, and you know, and it says, when inhaled, ozone can damage the lungs. It's pretty straightforward. And if we look at what's going on in California, um, the California Air Resource Board sets regulations within the state of California, but because they're so powerful as it relates to manufacturers, in many cases it becomes the, the standard in effect for the country. So if you have an air purifier and you're emitting ozone, starting in 2010, uh, California Air, Resource, air Resources Board began to regulate um, ozone emissions from air purifiers. But before we get to that, let's just see what they say about ozone. Um, it's an important component of smog, not great. Um, and then they talk about where ozone comes from, the chemical reactions, um, and why do CARB and the US EPA focus on ozone? It's because it's really, it's, a, it's an indoor air pollutant. Um, you know, and from what they're saying and kind of what I've seen, especially with my son with asthma, ozone is not, is not a good thing. It really, um, it, it really should be avoided. And it's not just for people, it's also if you think about who has the weak respiratory systems. Well, from people's standpoint, it's seniors and children, um, but also your pets. You know, the pets have don't have the same respiratory system that an adult typically has, and they're home all day. Um, and so it's, you know, it's something to consider. And so what um, the California Air Resources Board did is in 2010, they began regulating air cleaners and so you know they had these devices and here's a list they have where these are potentially hazardous ozone generators sold as air purifiers and you know for each brand these are all different products and so this is a pretty extensive list of <laughs> of products that they've listed out here and their goal was to get these off the market in the consumer space i think in some cases in the commercial or um, industrial space you could you can buy an ozone generator but for a consumer for a home environment um, where you're in a living space they, they want to get these these out of there and so what they did was they created a standard and they set a threshold for what is an acceptable amount of ozone from an air purifier and there's two categories that they created one is called the mechanical which is basically it doesn't have any type of electronic filtering um, it's essentially you just have like a HEPA filter and a motor and a fan. <laughs> That's it. And electronic um, is, you know, maybe capable of generating ozone. And they've been tested to be within the threshold that California sets um, for their, their maximum threshold, which is 50 parts per billion currently. Um, I know earlier this year they were trying to get that reduced by, I think, 90%. Um, and it, you know, that hasn't made its way through yet, but I would imagine over time that threshold is just going to come down because there really is no good amount of ozone um, in your space. And the types of products that this applies to are things like ionizers, electrostatic precipitators, 
PCO, which is photocatalytic oxidation, hydroxyl generators, UV light, and things like that. And so, you know, when you're looking at an air purifier, it's either mechanical or it's electronic. And so if you, you know, scroll down here, they have every air purifier that's been certified um, for them or by them. And so if I type in, say, MDO2, which is our model, it's mechanical. And you know, everything that we're selling is is a mechanical air purifier. Um, if I were to type in, um, you know, um, I just pick uh, another brand, AP fifteen twelve HH, which is a CoA model. Um, you know, the, in you can see in twenty twenty three they have some versions of this that are mechanical, and then they have um, twenty thirteen version which is electronic. And so, you know, what this is saying is this is within the 50 parts per billion, but it's, you know, may not be zero. And so what's interesting is, is if I take this model number and I go over to the Energy Star website, um, Energy Star website lists all air purifiers that are certified to the Energy Star standard. And if I click into the models, drop in the part number. Um, yes, this product is Energy Star certified. If I click on product details, they show ozone emissions in parts per billion. So this is nine parts per billion um, of ozone that's emitted with this one machine. And what's you know kind of significant to note here is you know, that's for one machine. And, you know, when I've talked with, um, you know, sent a question to CARB and it says, well, are these things additive? So if I have three, does it, you know, <laughs> does that mean it's 27? And I, and the response was, it's not exactly linear, but it, it is additive. And so, you know, the more that you have that produce ozone, the more ozone you're going to have. It's also a, a issue of how much ventilation does your space have and how large is your space and so if you have an apartment and you have multiple air purifiers it's it's a bit of a different situation than if you have 4,000 square feet with one one air purifier um, but you know ozone is ozone um, you know and, the, and you know position that we take is there's there's no good amount of ozone um, but there are tools and you know transparency within these government systems that you can see you know is this product i'm considering is this um you know mechanical electronic and if it's electronic is it energy star certified and then if it's energy star certified how much ozone does that produce and am i okay with that um you know if you go on the reddit subreddits if um, and people talk about ozone there's some folks that are like oh it's just don't worry about it. It it <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. But you know, if you're a parent of an asthmatic child, or you have a parent who has asthma, or um, you know, pets or birds, um, you know, with you know, you know, other beings with you know, weakened respiratory systems, it is something to consider.